Hi, my name is Joni Eisinger. Welcome to my channel. I have a take two here for the August 2023 Energies reading. Every now and then I have sound problems, so it's a redo, and I hope that you can hear me clearly. Please contact me through my website, joniswhitelighthealing.com, if you're interested in having a reading or healing with me. I'm a psychic, a medium, and a healer, and yes, I have done paranormal investigations. Okay, so I'm going to put my Joni aside, and we're going to see what Spirit has to say for the collective regarding August 2023 energies. Don't panic, get with the groove, um, too much pressure on self um, confounds you and other. So get with it. If you are a mess, and there's no judgment with that, do something about it. Um, some of you look like twisted, um, wash, um, wrung out wash towels or uh, rags and that you need to unfurl yourself and you need to wash yourself up and get out there. So uh, there are no if, ands, or buts about it. Um, release what isn't serving you and go forward. Any messes are to be cleaned up one step at a time. There are no excuses. There are no excuses. Rushing will not work. Rushing and panic will not change anything. Um, if you are rushing to clean something up, you're going to be dropping little bits of water or paint or dirt as you go along cleaning it up. If you take your time slowly, the chances are you will not be repeating the mess here and there. If you are barking at people, you need to go inside and see what's up with you. It's more of, again, I'm getting that panic feeling, people feeling um, as if they're releasing fury and rage on other people. Get with the program. It's not okay to bark at people. Um, the panic is like, I can't um, get enough. I don't know where things are. I don't know how to get them. And then the rage and the fury comes in and then the barking at other people begins. This isn't appropriate and it needs to stop. And I'm putting Joni in here. It seems that spirit is really talking to the people who are in negative patterns. And this is cleanup time. Going back in. Make amends. Trust that it's okay. Put forth the olive branch. There are a lot of people that are suffering by your hand. If you have said something, done something, the olive branch is very, very, very important at this time. If you're out in the sun, that will calm you. If you are under the night's stars, you are able to release things. Now, that doesn't mean that, and Joni comes in here, that doesn't mean every, that's going to work for everyone, but for some people that will resonate. And many of you are feeling attractive. There are loads of people around that want relationships, so many of you will be meeting people around this time. I see some folks traveling, take it, going abroad. It could be domestic or international and they find peace with going away. Any of your suffering is to be left. It is not to be brought back. See whether you can let Mother Earth take away your sorrow when you are away. Work on self. For some of you, that you have a band of followers and they keep you... Um, keep you up, they support you and bless you, and hold them dear. They are great co-workers, colleagues, friends, family, neighbors. These are wonderful people that hold you and support them as well. For those who have children, they need to know that, your children need to know that they can rely on you. 
Demonstrate that. Demonstrate that. And for others, uh, you pulled that trigger. You did it. You went for it. And, and Spirit is congratulating you for your efforts and your putting your foot forward, taking the steps, speaking up about what's rightfully yours, and in time, you will see the rewards of your efforts. August is um, a little bit melancholy for some, but also like fireworks spectacular for others. It really has to do with the timeline the person is on and where they are in terms of their personal development. It seems during August you will see growth and change. That is what Spirit offered me to send to you today. I hope that you enjoyed this. Pass this on to others who you think might. And I will see you in September. Bye, y'all. <laughs>